All right, so apparently I'm late to the party. A lot of people ask me, have you seen the trailer for The Punisher? No, I have not. But let's check it out because apparently there is some buzz going on about it and I have been looking forward to it. So let's see what we got. All right, you guys, uh, where's my mouse? Let's start her up. Let's check her out. I think Bernthal is so perfect for this role, though. This Marvel Netflix team up is just wonderful. Shoot on sight. What do you know about my family? That's sweet. That's sweet. Fair enough. Sweet shirt. A little John Wick action. Alright, so I couldn't see that date there. I don't know when that series is going to launch. It looked like maybe, was that August or maybe July or something like that? I don't know. I couldn't tell though. But listen, I'm crazy excited about this. And I've said for a long time that John Bernthal is the best person to play the Punisher that I've seen, even of the movies. As a matter of fact, I hope what we get is a Punisher movie. That would be awesome. But what did you think about this like this looks really good and if you saw the punisher in daredevil you know how intense this series could be so here's what i will say though i will say though if netflix is going to pull this off well we really do need a rendition of the punisher that's really really gritty and hardcore i so it's going to be hard for this to really come off well if the Punisher is toned down a whole bunch. Yeah, I hate to say it, you guys, but we, we need this to be like really kind of gritty and hardcore if we're going to get the Punisher that we think we might get from what we saw on Netflix. And quite honestly, I think the Punisher that most of us are expecting to see. Let me tell you something, you guys. You Netflix and Marvel, you guys have a gold mine here. I mean, you've given us such great great content for the quote unquote street level superheroes that we have featured on Netflix. So what I hope, I hope that this really kind of expands the Marvel Universe on Netflix. Now I know we've got the Marvel Universe going on on TV and we've got the Gifted coming out soon and everybody knows we've got the Marvel Universe going on big time. It's booming in the theaters and now we have it on a streaming service like Netflix. But what I like about what we're seeing here now with the Punisher, what I really like about the Defenders and I did a video about this is that the universe has opened up on Netflix. You can really bring a lot of different street level and actually beyond superheroes just through the door of the Defenders. But when we look at this, I'm just super excited about this because of how well received The Punisher was in Daredevil. And this looks like an amazing trailer. Now what I do hope is that we get a full season. Man, God, look, we need a full season. Please don't give us like six episodes at least eight 
I'd like some more. I'd like more than eight, but at, at least eight. So I feel like I'm really excited about this because just the potential from the short clip that we've seen there is really good. And if we get a really good storyline, I mean, this does look like the first season will probably be, we'll probably get like an origin, the first couple of episodes. Really, I really we only need an origin story, I think, in probably like the first episode and then really kind of to dig more into the Punisher story. So it'll be really interesting to see what they do with this. But I'm, man, I'm excited about this. So... I don't even know how I'm going to cover this. Like, do I binge the whole thing and then talk about the whole season? Do we go episode by episode? That was my plan with the Defenders, but I ended up just kind of talking about the whole season with that. I don't know. I really like this because I really, really like John Bernthal as the Punisher. So, guys, what did you think about this? Please comment. Let me know what you thought about it. Liked it? Don't like it? Excited about it? Not excited about it? This might end up being one of my favorite series on Netflix for Marvel. Right now, it's been Luke Cage so far, hands down, just because of the way that everything was shot with Luke Cage. The feel, the tone, all of it worked really well. Yeah, outside of some quirks here and there, like throwing in the costume villain at the end, I was like, really? Come on. Actually, they shouldn't have got rid of Cottonmouth. I understand why they did get rid of Cottonmouth, but they shouldn't have gotten rid of Cottonmouth. He was such a great villain, uh, Mahershala Ali. But anyway, yeah, man. <sighs> I'm excited about this. This looks awesome. Guys, thank you so much. Please make sure that you check out some of the other videos that will be popping up on the screen somewhere around me, in front of me, covering me up. I don't know. Make sure you hit that round button if it has popped up that says subscribe here, you guys, for more great content. I'm super behind. Yes, I know. I did see Mother, which I'm still debating whether or not I'm even going to do a review about that because I really have some things to say, but I don't even, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I did see it finally which <laughs> I have some things to say about that. And I did see um, the Kingsman Golden Circle as well. So it's not like I have not been seeing things. I've just not been putting a lot of videos out because life has just been crazy busy and I am not a full-time YouTuber. I got to be a grown-up sometimes, you know? It's sad, really. It's really sad. Anyway, you guys. Um, all right. That's it. That's all I got, guys. Please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.